Hello, I'm going to show you guys a few tips on how to make your game run faster in Unity. So first thing I'm going to go over is LODs. To create an LOD, go to Add Component, Create an LOD Group. The way LODs work is you're supposed to have multiple models of the same object. Your first LOD, LOD0, it would be your best quality model with the best textures and the most polys. This represents our camera and how far away we are from the object. If I'm this far away, it's going to render our LOD1, and that would be a least quality model with least quality textures and least polys. For this far away, it's going to render LOD2, and that would maybe be a billboard of our model or just an even less quality model. If we're at 10% called, it's not going to render our object at all. So you could adjust the distance just like this. But yeah, if you were to download an asset and it comes with LODs, say LOD 0, 1, 2, you would just drag those in its rightful spot right here under renderers. So I'm going to be lazy. I don't want to make all those models. So I'm just going to drag this here. So as you can see, if I'm this far away, it doesn't render our object anymore. But that's too close and it looks ugly towards the player. So I'm going to make it disappear even farther away from the player but even that doesn't look that good so I'm gonna do this this is just me being lazy this isn't ideal so if I'm this far away it doesn't render the object at all so LEDs are good especially if you're building a large map so there you have it with LODs another thing that can impact performance is what kind of shaders you use Certain shaders can be heavy on your project, especially if they're moving shaders, and it depends on how many game objects you have with that shader. But it's recommended that you use the standard shader, for it's the best performance-wise. But in certain situations, you would want to use different shaders, such as like in trees or bushes or water. But you want to test out which shaders work best for your frame rate. But standard is definitely the best shader to use, so try to use that most of the time. Whenever you're using particles, make sure you set your culling mode to pause and catch up for it's the best performance wise. Inside every animated component, make sure you set your culling mode to cull update transforms. My next tip is adjusting the clipping planes in your main camera object. So go over to your main camera Go over to your camera component. Here you can see clipping planes. Here you can adjust how far you want to render anything from the camera. So down here in our camera preview, if I lower this to 20, I'm not rendering anything beyond the van. If I go even higher, now I'm rendering the trees, I'm rendering all the objects beyond the van. But I'm going to keep it at 1000 because that's what looks best for my game. So that helps with performance. Another thing that helps with performance is using game objects to block camera view. So the way Unity works, once you bake your occlusion, any object in front of the camera, the camera doesn't render any objects behind that object, as long as it's marked static. So my RV right here is not marked static because it moves. It's a drivable RV. But if you go over to your occlusion, under your visualization, once you bake your occlusion, this is what my camera would be seeing right now. It's aiming this way towards the RV. It's rendering everything behind the RV. But if my RV was marked static, it wouldn't be rendering anything behind the RV. If my camera were to turn this way to the left or behind, it would render everything this way. But this is what my camera would see right now. That's why indoor scenes work best, because it uses a lot of walls, and the camera's not rendering anything behind those walls. So just remember to bake your occlusion, and you'll be all set. Another thing that hopefully most of you already know about, especially if you already put trees in your game, is go into your terrain object, go to your terrain settings, there's a whole bunch of settings you could adjust, detail distance, your grass, how far you want to render your grass 
how much of it you want to render, how far you want to render your trees. So that's another thing that helps performance. Another thing that hopefully most of you already know about is go over to your project settings, go to quality. Here you got all kinds of settings you could adjust. I have the quality of my game set to very high. Obviously if I have it medium or low, the performance would be better. Shadow distance, V-Sync, all that jazz. Obviously scripts can cause lag too. So make sure all your scripts are clean and every part of it is doing exactly what it should be doing. But that's a really large topic to talk about. I can't really talk too much about it because obviously scripts can do so many things. But here's an example. Never find a game object on update. That creates tons of lag. You'll probably run into it at some point in time. But yeah, just advice. Just make sure your scripts are clean. They're doing exactly what it needs to be doing. Because your scripts can too also cause lag and performance issues in your game. Another thing that should be pretty obvious is what kind of hardware your computer uses and what kind of game that you're building. If you're going to build a high quality texture game, free roam, large map, just like this, you're going to need a pretty decent computer. If you're building a low poly game, 2D, you're not going to need too much of a heavy computer. But if you're going to build a game like this, you're going to need something pretty advanced. I actually only have an i5 processor with NVIDIA graphics card 1050 I believe. But it's able to run this pretty well, so I'm satisfied with it. So just make sure you check your hardware settings, make sure you're building the kind of game that your computer can run. So that's that. Creating a graphics menu for your game is definitely a must have and boosts performance during play mode. So I have this simple graphics menu. I downloaded it from the asset store. But here you could have just some settings, the render distance, the terrain density. So it's definitely a must have in any game. Another thing to make sure of is to bake your lighting. Go to rendering, lighting settings. Here you want to bake your lighting. Here you could adjust some settings, resolution of your reflections. I have it set to low for performance reasons. I don't know which lighting works best. I think real time works fastest for me, even though it's depreciated. Just make sure all your non-moving objects are set as static because this really helps with loading time. And what you're supposed to do, especially if you're building large maps like this, especially if you got a big game object like my walls right here and I have many of them. So go over to your game object, go under your mesh renderer. Here you can adjust some lighting settings of the object. Like you can adjust the scale of the light map. I have it set low. So this really helps with loading time. Light map perimeters, I have it set low too. So that really helps. Another tip I want to throw out for the beginners is make sure you build the game and test it out that way because that's what its true potential will be. It's likely that you'll experience frame drops when you're playing the game in editor. But that's just because Unity is a very advanced program and can be heavy on some computers. So there you have it. There's many factors, many things that can make a game run slow. But these are just some tips to consider. If this video helped you guys out, please subscribe and thank you for watching.